I mean, Mohammed, you've written a lot about central banks. Are we? Is there any chance of us having normal financial markets any time with our, when, when, within our lifetimes? No. Um, you know, as, as the Fed will find out pretty quickly and as the ECB has found out with negative interest rate, this is a no exit paradigm. Once you get in, it's actually very difficult to exit because not only do you make the markets dependent on you, but you entitle the markets. So whenever you're thinking of getting out, you risk having a major market tantrum, which will make you worry about financial volatility contaminating the real economy. So the tendency is once in, it's very hard to exit. Look, the scale and scope is remarkable. Just let me give you, we are in what I think is round two of a multi-round process, which is what this is. And the multi-round in, involves multiple rounds of living with COVID that we find a way of balancing reopenings with the health side, as James said. And then there's the post-COVID. And it's the, the lots of rounds here. In round two so far, um, if you put the government and the central bank together, it's over 30% of GDP of basically private sector activities that have been taken over by the government. 30% of GDP. Wow. And then if you look at how it's been done, it's a spaghetti ball. There have been no principle that are leading this. So you try tonight untangling a spaghetti ball. It is very difficult because you pull one thing, you then end up pulling something else you don't really want to pull. So this is gonna, gonna be with us. I think we should learn that phase one of a crisis is you never make the best the enemy of the good because you have to intervene, intervene quickly. But what good crisis managers do is they learn. They learn quickly and they course correct. And we have an opportunity to start course correcting. Otherwise, we are going to continue adding to the spaghetti ball that's going to take away the magic of a market-based system.